Let's make hydrogen at home. Blow it up, be unsafe. No, stop that. Don't be unsafe. Don't listen to them. Of course I'm joking. Please be safe. We are creating explosive gas today using common household materials, but we have fire extinguishers at the ready if something were to go wrong and we are prepared. Before we get into electrolysis and exothermic reactions, make sure you subscribe for your weekly dose of awesomeness. We have some really cool science experiments coming up and some pretty awesome Rube Goldbergs as well, so make sure you subscribe. Let's start with a slightly less impressive but still really cool electrolysis electrolysis machine, and we'll split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is actually a really bad influence on oxygen. You see, whenever they hang out together, oxygen is likely to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> now some people say uh, all you have to do is throw a 9 volt battery into some salt water and Look, it's electrolysis, but they're wrong. Those people are not worthy of the power of science. Instead, we are going to waterproof our battery and create a controlled environment so that we can see what's happening. We're not going to explain the whole process, we're just going to show you. If you want an episode on electrolysis, let us know in the comments. So we filled the test tubes with salt water and flipped them upside down so we could see as they fill with gas. This is going to take quite a bit of time. So we're going to take a break and come back. I'm going to take a time lapse of this filling up the gas. As you can see, this test tube here is mostly empty of the water. That's because it's full of hydrogen. This one is still mostly full, that's partially full of oxygen. And that's because there's more hydrogen atoms in water than oxygen, so the hydrogen one will fill up faster. So how can we test to make sure this is hydrogen? By lighting it on fire. In a safe manner. <laughs> of course. Okay, so we're just gonna try this, hopefully. Hear that? That was, that was hydrogen. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> like a lost puppy crying. <laughs> <laughs> so the hydrogen do. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get to the fun one. We'll need aluminum foil, water, and TSP. TSP is a common household cleaner. It's also, I've heard, a common ingredient in cereal check to see if the TSP is actually on the ingredients list for this cereal. There it is, tri-sodium phosphate. Yep, it's there. So make sure you take a little bit of a break between eating cereal and aluminum foil, otherwise you might get hydrogen gas. So all we need to do is mix these together and a lot of hydrogen gas is formed. A few tips just to make it work a bit better. Shred the aluminum foil so there's more surface area, it gets a better reaction, and store it all in a jar that you can put a balloon over the top of so you can catch it and play with the hydrogen. Yeah. So this takes a little bit of time to fill. But we have one that we prepped before, and now that this is full of hydrogen, Oh, we can play with it. We can make a hydrogen blimp. We can make a hydrogen explosion. We can make a hydrogen torch. The possibilities are endless. Let's do them all. Did you hear there was a hydrogen explosion at the cheese factory? There was debris everywhere. So, this is pretty much as full as it's going to get. Hmm, let's just take it off and tie a knot in it. So hydrogen is lighter than air. So, theoretically, this should float. Yep, yep. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how big of an explosion this makes. 
we'll just uh, tape it to a straw so I can hold it away from my delicate part. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we'll just, we'll see. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Beep. Woo! Woo! Okay! Oh. Hokey smokes! So that was intense. Um, I'm Ooh. missing all of the hair on my arm. <laughs> Don't worry, we're safe, we're okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, was... that was more than I was expecting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrogen is explosive, who knew? <laughs> While we watch those cool experiments, let's break down what's happening here. The complicated version is that the aluminum is oxidized by air forming aluminum oxide. Water is incorporated into the aluminum oxide forming aluminum hydroxide. Phosphate reacts with the water to form hydrogen phosphate and hydroxide. Aluminum hydroxide reacts with hydroxide to form aluminate and hydrogen gas. But ultimately what's happening is the aluminum is reacting with water to form hydrogen gas, but you need a base to make it happen. So that pungent odor that you smell is my <laughs> arm hair burning. It's cool. wonderful. <laughs> so be safe. Uh, I know it's really fun to light balloons and fill with hydrogen on fire. Probably don't, but if you're watching this and you want to do it anyways, you probably aren't going to listen to me. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. Bloopers are coming up. See you later. Okay, <laughs> smells funny. Yeah. I have no idea where the balloon went. <laughs> Cut it in the tub, though. <laughs> uh, cut, throw batteries into water if you're in the tub, and the water is the tub that you throw in. Cut. <laughs> ah! Show you the whole process. Yes, we will. <laughs>